Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see what is system of non-homogeneous linear equations. We will also see how to solve them. So let us first understand what is system of linear equations. In layman's language, it is nothing but the set of linear equations. For example, consider these three equations. Together they form the system of linear equations. We call them linear because degree of every equation is 1. Also, since every term's degree is not same, that is why it is called as non-homogeneous linear equations. Look at this first equation. Degree of first three terms is 1, whereas degree of the fourth term on the RHS side is 0. That is why it is non-homogeneous. Since nature of all the equations is non-homogeneous, together they form system of non-homogeneous linear equations. Consider this another example of three equations. Together they form system of non-homogeneous linear equations in variables x, y and z. Now we see what is called as solution to the system of equations. Solution to the set of equations is the set of values of x, y and z which will satisfy all the equations in the system. For example, consider this system of equation. If we substitute x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3, we see that all the equations are satisfied. You can pause the video and cross check it. So we say that 1, 2, 3 is the solution to this system of equation. Now we see two phrases namely consistent and inconsistent system of equations. We say that the system of equation is consistent if and only if it has a solution whereas if it does not have a solution we call it as non-consistent or inconsistent. For example this system has a solution 1, 2, 3 so this system of equation is consistent. Now we see what is matrix form of the system of linear or non-linear equations. The matrix form of linear and non-linear system of equations is given by Ax is equal to B. For example, consider this system of equation. Then we can write its matrix form as this. Whereas this first matrix is obtained from the coefficients of x, y and z. Look at here, a1, a2, a3 are the coefficients of x, y, z of the first equation. So we put them over here, a1, a2, a3. Similarly, bi gives second row and ci gives third row. This second matrix is a column matrix consists of unknown variables x, y, z. And this RHS matrix is a matrix of constants from this RHS side. This first matrix, we call it as matrix A, is a matrix of coefficients. Second matrix is matrix of unknowns, we call it as X. And third matrix B is the matrix of constants. This is how AX is equal to B represents system of any linear or non-linear equations. Now we see what is augmented matrix. Let Ax is equal to B be the matrix form of any system of equations. Then the augmented matrix is given by matrix AB which is combination of coefficient matrix and matrix of constants. So in this way one can form an augmented matrix. Note that matrix A and B are separated by this dotted line. Now we see how to determine consistency and inconsistency of the system of equation. For that, in step 1, we have to write the given system of equation into its matrix form that is Ax is equal to B. In step 2, we write the corresponding augmented matrix AB. In third step, we reduce the matrix AB that is augmented matrix into row echelon form and find the rank of matrix A and rank of matrix AB. 
in step 4 we write the conclusion from the following conditions those conditions are as follows if we see that rank of a is less, less than rank of a b then system is strictly inconsistent it does not have any solution it will have a solution only if rank of a is equal to rank of a b note that rank of a will never exceed rank of a b because number of rows of matrix a is same as number of rows of matrix a b therefore rank rank of a will never be greater than rank of a b so we will have only these two conditions either rank of a is less than rank of a b or rank of a is equal to rank of a b so we just saw that rank of a is equal to rank of a b then system of equation is consistent that means it has solution now we compare rank of a and number of unknowns in the system if we see that rank of a is less than number of unknowns then system will have infinitely many solutions and those solutions can be obtained by assigning n minus r variables a random value and if rank of a is equal to number of unknowns then system will possess unique solution that can be obtained by writing and solving the equations from the row echelon form let us understand this with the help of an example here we are asked to test the consistency of the system of equation and we are asked to find the solution if possible so this is the given system of equation it has three equations in x y z so let us follow step one which is to write the given system into matrix form ax is equal to b so this is the matrix form of the system now we reduce the given matrix form to augmented matrix so the corresponding augmented matrix is this you can see that this first three columns are from matrix a and this last column is the matrix b now we perform series of row transformations on this augmented matrix and we reduce it to row echelon form so my first transformation is r2 minus r1 and second is r3 minus 2 r1 this will reduce to element a21 and a31 to 0 so this is how changes will appear in the matrix next transformation is r3 minus 3 times r2 due to which element at a32 will become 0 so we see that this is the new matrix obtained now I see that this matrix cannot be further reduced so this is the row echelon form of the augmented matrix now we observe the number of non-zero rows in this row echelon form particularly in matrix A and in matrix AB since in matrix A there are three non-zero rows rank of A is 3 similarly in AB there are three non-zero rows so rank of AB is also equal to 3 therefore rank of A is equal to rank of AB so according to the conditions mentioned earlier system of equation will be consistent and since rank of A is equal to number of unknowns system of equation will have unique solution so let us find out that unique solution by solving the equations obtained from this row echelon form of augmented matrix so this is the augmented matrix row echelon form we will write down the equations obtained from this this third row gives us the equation minus 8z is equal to minus 24 second row gives us the equation minus y plus 3z is equal to 8 and first row gives us the equation x plus 2y minus z is equal to 1 now we solve these equations one by one and we'll find out the values of x y z so solving this first equation we clearly get z is equal to 3 we substitute z's value in this second equation to get the value of y we see y is equal to 1 then now we substitute z is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1 in this last equation and we see that x is equal to 2 so this is how we get solution to the given system is 2 comma 1 comma 3 now let us see another example 
here is the next example here also we have to test the consistency of the system of equation and we have to find the solution if possible this is the system of equation in three variables x y and z first of all we'll write the matrix form ax is equal to b of the given system of equation then we write the corresponding augmented matrix and now we perform series of row transformations on this matrix first we exchange r2 and r1 so we get this new matrix performing r2 minus 3 r1 and r3 minus 6 r1 we get this matrix now finally we perform r3 minus r2 to get this matrix we see that this matrix further cannot be reduced so we stop reduction process so this is the row echelon form of the matrix and since there are two non-zero rows in matrix a rank of matrix a is 2 also there are only two non-zero rows in this matrix a b so rank of a b is also equal to 2 so rank of a is equal to rank of a b therefore system of equation is consistent and since rank of a is less than number of unknowns system of equation will have infinitely many solutions and we know that these solutions can be obtained by assigning n minus r variable a random value where n is number of unknowns and r is rank of the matrix so 3 minus 2 is 1 so we assign one variable a random value to get these infinitely many solutions first we write the equations from the row echelon form of the augmented matrix so these are those two equations to solve this equation we are supposed to substitute one variable a random value so we put y is equal to t in second equation substituting y is equal to t in second equation we get z is equal to 9 plus 70 upon 13 you can pause the video and check the calculations. Substituting y is equal to t and z is equal to this value in first equation, we will get the corresponding value of x, which is this. So solution to the given system of equation is given by 2t plus 3 into 9 plus 70 upon 13 minus 2 comma t comma 9 plus 70 upon 13. Now you can substitute for t any value and find infinitely many solutions. Now let's go ahead for next example. Here we are asked to investigate for what value of lambda and mu the following system of equations will have no solution, unique solution and infinitely many solutions. So this is the system of equations in invariables x, y and z. But we see there are two parameters lambda and mu appearing. So let us see for what values of these lambda and mu system will have no solution, unique solution and infinitely many solutions. First of all, we'll write the matrix form of the given system. It is this AX is equal to B. Then the corresponding augmented matrix is this. Now let's perform series of row transformations on this matrix to reduce it to row echelon form. First performing R2 minus 3 times R1 and R3 minus R1, we get this new matrix. You can pause the video and check the calculation. Next we perform exchange of R1 and R2, we get this new matrix. Finally we perform R2 minus 2 times R1 to get 0 at position A to 1. So this is the new matrix opted. This matrix further cannot be reduced. So we stop the process of reduction. Now this is in row echelon form. Now we check for what values of lambda and mu system will have no solution. Okay. So we know that system of equation will have no solution if and only if rank of A is less than rank of AB. So observe only these first three columns that is matrix A. Matrix A rank will be 2 only if lambda is equal to minus 5. And 
matrix AB will have rank 3 only if mu is not equal to 9. So in this case only rank of A is 2 and rank of AB is 3. That is rank of A is less than rank of AB. So we say if lambda is equal to minus 5 and mu is not equal to 9 then rank of A is equal to 2, rank of AB is equal to 3 therefore system of equation will have no solution. Now we see when system of equation will have unique solution. We know that system of equation have unique solution only if rank of A is equal to rank of AB is equal to number of unknowns. On previous slide we saw that rank of A will be equal to 3 only if lambda is not equal to minus 5. So, so if we take lambda not equal to minus 5 and mu is any value rank of A will be 3 Similarly, rank of AB will also be equal to 3 and since number of unknowns are also equal to 3, system of equation will have unique solution. Now we see when system of equation will have infinitely many solutions. We know that system of equation will have infinitely many solutions only if rank of A is equal to rank of AB which is less than number of unknowns. Since number of unknowns are 3, we want rank of A and AB to be 2. So rank of A is equal to 2 only if lambda is equal to minus 5. And rank of AB is equal to 2 only if lambda is equal to minus 5 and mu is equal to 9. So we say if lambda is equal to minus 5 and mu is equal to 9 then rank of A is equal to rank of AB which is 2 and it is less than number of unknowns. So the system of equation will have infinitely many solutions only if lambda is equal to minus 5 and mu is equal to 9. I hope guys you understood what is mean by system of nonlinear equations and how to solve that system of equation. We see that system of equation will have either no solution or a solution. So if it has a solution we saw that that solution can be unique or infinitely many solutions will be there. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.